God. Oh, it's so hot, it's freaking mask. Comment down below, do you guys have to wear a mask in the gym? Do you guys have your gym closed in the middle of the afternoon to clean for two hours? Cause I only got to lift for a half hour cause I totally forgot they close at two o'clock. I went at 1.30. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, we're gonna be doing some ultralight fishing. I have a lose mock light, which is a really small, like almost like a mic, I put like a micro fishing reel with like with a four pound line on it. So that's what we're gonna be using. With um, I had the rod, but the rod broke, and I just have some ugly stick rod that's like a five six. I don't know, I forget what it is. It's either five foot or six foot. So that's what we're gonna be using to catch some bass in a small pond that we found. It, we were at it in the last video. It's a pretty good pond. Um, I gotta do a few things. I'm gonna get all my stuff, and then we're gonna head to the pond, which is about a half hour away. So we'll see you guys when we're out on the pond today. We are going to be fishing with some ultralight tackle. This is a mock uh, light, loose spinning reel. I had the rod for it, but it broke. So right now I'm just using a, uh, I don't even know, this is probably like six something. Actually, no, I'm using a five foot uh, ugly stick that I just found in my garage with a four pound line. So let's do some uh, ultralight fishing for some largemouth bass. See how we do, see how we do. I have a, so I have a two odd hook, Guggen Squad hammer hook with a lunker log. Just set up weightless Texas rig. Oh, I just had one. So I just had one. Mm. There we go. Is that first cast? First cast. A little largey number one. Nothing crazy. Just a little pretty guy. Let's get him back in there. Fish numero uno on a lunker log. Mmm, my drag slipped a little bit. There we go. Come here, buddy. Fish number two. Another small guy. Let's see how long this lunker log lasts. So that was fish, two fish caught on it so far. It's not too beat up yet, so that's good. Yeah, there's probably some big ass snapping turtles. Yeah, I was just working that like a fluke. Came up and slammed it. Probably the same fish. No, he's, he's a little bit longer. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. No, stop it. Jeez Louise, let me get you back in there. Oh, they're crazy. Let me tell you. He tried swimming away and just like swam right into my leg. I'm gonna try to like work on the lily pads. Well, I don't know, that's probably a bad idea. Because anything that takes me into the lily pads, it's going to break the line. There's one. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I th no, not bigger. He was just in a pet. He was in the grass. Oh, jeez. I thought he was a monster. Look at this little guy. He's so fat. Oh, my worm came off. No. Oh, my God. I thought he was so much bigger than I would. Holy He got me right, he put me right in the grass and I was like, wow, this is gonna be a big fish. But no. So right there, I just put on the lily pads and I was just like kind of working in like a top water. Oh geez, what kind of cast was that? And I got a fish. Or oh, I'm stuck. No, I was stuck on a lily pad. Three, two, one. Fish. Oh, almost. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Couple seconds off. I don't know what fish this is for. I think he's like, is this the biggest one yet? No, not really. Four? I don't know. 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where should I cast? I'm going to cast this way. Because there's going to be a five pound bass sitting right there. Mmm. <laughs> Poor guy. So small. Doubled up. Doubled up. Fish number six. Still there, buddy. Hang on, worm. I believe in you. Let me walk out a little bit. Got my boots on for a reason. Been here for like, geez, 10 minutes. Oh, dude, that was a better fish. Son of a... No, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he went straight down and started to pull drag. That was definitely better fish. Oh, it sucks. I'm gonna cry. We're all the big boys. <sighs> I haven't caught a big fish in a while. Last one I caught was a four-pounder. And if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check that out. I think it was titled... Oh, God, I don't know what it was called. Um... The video when I got the spike in my hand, or the spine in my hand. Let me see. Um, I got a fish, hold on. Come here, amigo. It's fighting weird. I knew it was a sunny. Look at this guy. Whoa. Whoa, he's cool. This is big? No, God, no. Looks Yours is bigger. Look at the color on this guy. I mean, this is definitely the biggest bluegill I've ever caught, but the one you caught was huge. Yeah, he's big. This is the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. Stay there, bud. All right, what was I saying? Oh, um, the biggest bass. This summer that I caught was in this video right here. Um, this one, cheap versus expensive uh, Senko fishing challenge. Good video. Caught a four pound largemouth, and when I was um, when I was holding him, he fell out of my hand. I tried to catch him, and the, his uh, spine went into my hand, and I had to go get it removed. So it was cool. Definitely never saw that happen. There we go. Oh, he spit it. Oh, got one. And he spit it. Oh boy. What are these fish doing? What are these fish doing, man? Oh. Oh. All right. Time to drown. Not the bass. As soon as it hit the lily pads, it came up and ate it. Yeah. Oh, he's not a bad one. Oh. I hate that. I don't know what number of fish this is, but about the same size. Go get bigger, dude. All these fish have like really good potential to grow big because they're all like, they all have big heads and like really round bodies. And if this pond can get like some water back into it, these fish are gonna be massive one day. Like it's almost like, a, like this area right here is like almost a nursery. It's crazy. Like this is like recipe for like some giant bass. Cause like there's so much food for these bass and then once they get bigger and hopefully the water comes back up, it's gonna be insane.